hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install red hat linux operating system on your windows machine with the help of virtualbox for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i am currently running windows 11 pro you can run linux mac os and many other operating systems here on your virtualbox so the first thing we have to do is to download and install virtualbox so open your browser and then search for virtualbox so you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now click on it. And by the left, click on Downloads. Now you can see VirtualBox for different platforms. This is for Windows, this is for Mac OS, Linux, and many other operating systems. So click on Windows Host and it should start downloading. Next, we have to download Red Hat Linux image file. So open a new tab and then search for Red Hat Linux. So you can see Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system. Now click on it. Now let's open this full screen. Now you have to log in to be able to download Red Hat Linux. So click on login over here and then click on register now. Sign up with personal account type. After sign up, we have to log in. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go back to the login page. And then log in with your email and password. After login, click on customer portal over here. And then if you look up here, you're going to see downloads over here. So click on downloads. Now you can see Red Hat Enterprise Linux over here. Click on it. Now scroll down and go with the full installation image. Now you can see this file is 7.9 gig. So I advise you use an internet download manager if your network is not that stable. Now click on download now and it should start downloading the ISO file. Now I already have this downloaded so I'm just going to cancel. Now we have VirtualBox and we also have Red Hat Linux ISO file. So let's close this. First we have to install VirtualBox so open your download folder and then open VirtualBox. Next. Next. Yes. Install. So VirtualBox has been successfully installed. Now you should have a Red Hat Linux file downloaded. So we have to create a new virtual machine. Now click on new. So let's call this Red Hat Linux. Make sure you set the type to Linux and then set the version to Red Hat 64-bit since we downloaded the 64-bit version. Now go to hardware over here and then set the amount of CPU cores you want this machine to use and the base memory as well which is the ram now i'm going to give it 6 gigabytes of ram that is because i have 16 gigabytes on my pc so you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host pc now click on hard disks and then set how much storage you want to allocate to your virtual machine so i'm just going to give it 60 gigabytes and then click on finish now these are the specs of our newly created machine we have to make few changes by clicking on settings over here Go to system this is the ram the base memory you can change anytime same as the processor over here you can change anytime now go to the motherboard change this pointing device over here from ps 2 mouse to usb tablet else you won't be able to use your mouse in your guest os now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes enable 3d acceleration go to storage and this is where we are going to import the iso file we downloaded so this is the ISO file in my file explorer. Now click on empty over here under the controller IDE and then click on this disk button over here. Click on choose the disk file and then select your Red Hat Linux ISO file we downloaded. Click on open. OK. Now everything is set and we can begin the installation. So click on start. Now we are going with install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.0 so it should automatically boot in 50 something seconds but we just hit enter to skip this. Hit escape to skip the disk check or you can just proceed with it but I don't really want to do that so just hit escape key. Now select the language you want to use for the installation and then continue. 
click on installation destination over here and then click on done you don't have to do anything just click on done to confirm the installation destination now click on root password and then set a password click on done twice click on done twice and we are good so once you click on begin installation it should initiate the installation now this will take some time probably less than an hour but you just have to wait so guys the installation has been completed this didn't take up to 30 minutes now click on reboot system and you can see red hat linux has been successfully installed now we can proceed with the setup so click on start setup let's just proceed with this next i'll just keep this but you can connect it if you want fill in your details and then next set a password next and then click on start using red hat linux no thanks so basically this is how to install red hat linux on your windows machine now if you notice closely the display isn't really working so to fix that let's just right click and go to display settings now set the display in the same aspect ratio with your system display so let me just try something and you can see it looks better now i can actually click on view up here and then go to full screen mode switch and you can see this is red hat linux full screen mode and i can do whatever i want to do here so basically this is how to install and run red hat linux on your windows machine with the help of virtual box if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one